Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Jo Brand. So for today is we will be discussing our lesson number 11 for understanding the self and that is learning to be a better learner. So I am very happy actually. I am very happy and excited because we are almost there. We are almost done discussing our understanding the self subject for this semester. So I really hope that we are learning a lot from all our discussions. Okay, so let's proceed with our main topic for today. So according to my research, or according to my reference, knowing self is not enough. You might ask me why. Mom, I have a strong understanding about myself, but why is it that knowing self is not enough? Take note that knowing self is partly made up of your choices. So, kung nakahibaw na ka sa imuhang kaugalingon, nakahibaw na ka sa imong gusto, so possibly, nakahibaw na sad ka kung unsa po yung mga butanga, mahimo kang mamaayo sa usa ka butang, sa unsa rin nasabta na ito sa atong kaugalingon. We should also focus sa mga butanga, kinahanglan na ito i-improve para sa atong kaugalingon. And that is the idea of learning to be a better learner. Okay, so for example, sa pag di ba? When you go to school, you have a strong knowledge about yourself. You know yourself, kaila ka what is good or bad for you. Because if you really know yourself, at least it can help you become a better student. The same sa pagpanarbaho, kung nakaila kasi mong kaugalingon, sa yun na kaayo mo deal sa obang tao. Sa yun na kaayo mo adjust sa obang tao. Because you know yourself. Even at home or anywhere, as long as you know yourself, you know how to make adjustments. And that's how we learn. And that's how we become a better version of ourselves. Okay, so let's go deeper about this understanding. So, ganang kinahanglan man ko mo learn? Nga nakahibaw naman ko kung unsa ko. Okay, let's try to dig deeper about this idea. So, we, apil na ko, so we are considered homo sapien. So, it Moingon kag homo sapien, we are considered as wise man. So kung moingon tag we are wise, it wala na siya nag-ingon nga wise ka because you keep on thinking. Wise ka kay makahibaw ka magsigig huna-huna. So being wise talks about the idea that we are capable. We are capable of thinking about how we think. We are capable of thinking sa mga butang atong gibuhat, kung tanaw ni mong sayop na, di ni mo siya buhaton. Because you are thinking. And that's how we become wise man. Right? Dili kay nakahibaw na ka nga sayop na, but you are still doing it. Kahibaw ka nga, it's not good for you, but you are still doing it. Therefore, you are not a wise man. Right? Kaya na may uban, magsigi laguna-huna, naguna-huna, pero sige gapong buhat. So, when you talk about we are wise, we think at the same time, putan ni mo dili maayo ang imong gyunahuna, you will change it. So that's how we become wise man. Okay, so hopefully nasagtan. Okay, so because when you, when you talk about thinking about thinking, kung kahibaw daw ka, musabot sa imong pang mu understand sa the way ka magunahuna, how you process information, how you absorb information, if you know how to do all, this, all those things, you have a higher chance of improving yourself to be better. So for example, kung nakasabot ka, kung unsay mga, mga butang na dapat ni mo ma-acquire, kung unsay gusto ni mo sa imo kinabuhi, kung nakasabot ka, kung unsa the way maghuna-huna ang imo hang huna-huna, right? Kung unsa the way maghuna-huna ang imo huna-huna, you have a higher chance of becoming a better version of yourself. Okay, so that's, that's how makaingon ka, it's very complicated because we are thinking about thinking. And so the idea, this idea falls under the idea of the concept of metacognition. So when you talk about metacognition, it is thinking about thinking. So sabi saya pa, naguna-huna ka sa butang nga imonggi, huna-huna. So you are thinking about thinking. And sometimes, may ingon ka, nga nung magsigi makaguna-huna sa mga butanga, imong gihuna-huna. <laughs> diba? Okay, so mana siya. That's the idea of metacognition. If you are thinking about something, if you are thinking about the things that you did, if you are thinking about certain things and how you act, so that's the idea of metacognition. 
Okay, so what is thinking about thinking? Unsa din siya. So thinking about thinking it it is the awareness of the scope and limitations of your current knowledge and skills. Therefore, when you talk about thinking about thinking, you know your scope, you know what you do best, you know your strength, and also you know your limitations. You know your strengths and weaknesses. So that's the idea of thinking about thinking. Why are you thinking? Because you know yourself. I am thinking because I know kaya na ko. That's why bitaw sa mga kada bang magklasik ka ba? Dadaay mo kalit lang yung sujanti nga. Mo kalit rag glaum kay gunahuna ba? Hibo na ka nga gunahuna na siya. Right? So di lang ka sure kung sa yung gunahuna because he is thinking. Because ah, uh, nim process na ang metacognition sa usa ka tao, especially when we are thinking. Okay? So because of this awareness, kay nagunahuna man ka, kay nagunahuna man ka meaning aware na ka sa nahitabo. Kay aware naman ka sa nahitabo, meaning makaingon ka, mo-adapt na ka sa, sa situation. Kay aware naman ka na, uy, nahitabo na na siya. So I need to adapt. I need to be adaptable. And I need to learn something new para mas maging maayo ko. So for example, kung tanaw ni mo hina ka o math, parihan ako. I really hate math. No? <laughs> math subject. No? It's not my strength. Pero makasabot man ko, pero it takes time. It takes time for me to to adjust or to cope up sa kanang lesson. Pero nalingkamot ko, my, my metacognition is processing. Although, dugay lang siya ma-process, but it's still, because I want to learn. I want to be a better learner. At least, naaman lang ko eh, ma-improve sa akong kaugalingon. That's why ang uban mo sakit ang ulo, because you are thinking. Sakit mo mga, uh, sakit kayo maghuna-huna, labaw na kung naglisod ka. It's because you are doing your your metacognition already. So take note, metacognition is not all about the thinking process. So dili lang siya puro puro gahuna huna lang kano. So metacognition also deals with your emotions and motivation. Okay. So usahay gahuna huna ka, gahuna huna ka sa usa kabutang kinaguna huna mang ka. Usahay, maapiktuhan po kasi mong gunahuna, no? And at the same time, ang imuhang motiv motivation, ang imong pagpaningkamot, ma-affected po siya. Take note, uh, ang atua daw emotion o ang atua daw motivation, nakadepende na sa ato ang ganahan. Diba nakabantay ka na ay mga estudyante nga selective, meaning maghuna-huna sila sa subject nga ganahan lang sila, nga interesado sila. Pero kung hindi sila interested, ipo sila maguna-huna, dad malang. So therefore, makaingon ka when you talk about learning, depende na sa tao kung asa iyang healing. So that's how we learn. Nayuban nga interesado sa math, ila yun ang idig deeper ang konsepto sa subject. Ila yun ang subton. Kung healing po kag psychology, imo yun ang idig deeper ang subject na psychology. So it really depends on your preferred ideal state ang imuhang pag-learn sa usa ka butang. Dili pinugsanay. That's why when you, kung mo enroll ka sa college, when you choose your course, dapat i-align judi mo sa imong gusto, no? Because that's how you learn. Kaya kung ganahan ka sa usa ka subject, you are motivated and then you are happy. Bisan pag nagtumba-tumba na na imong grado, no? But still, you are moving. You are motivated to do something more because na dito imuhang emotional level na added to imong motivation okay so that's the idea of metacognition it's not all about the thinking process it also deals with your emotion and your motivational level okay so metacognition has two aspects so that's why do have aspito right metacognition has two aspects we have the self appraisal and the self management of cognition so what is self appraisal? So di ba ako bingon kag appraisal talks about the idea of your personal reflection about your knowledge and capabilities. Nakaila ba ka sa imuhang kaugalingon? Naka nakahibaw ba ka kung unsay imong strength and the weaknesses? Do you know your capabilities? Do you know unsay butang nga maayo ka? Do you really know yourself? What is self appraisal? 
if you know kung sa ibutang nga maayo ka, you will invest on that. Kung tanaw po ni mo dili ka maayo ang nga butang, di po kay ka mo invest on or something. Okay? For example, ako, ganahan ko magtabi. So, I will invest more on talking or speaking in front. Kaya kung ma-invest, kung naalang ko nga ako lang usa, I am more motivated when I talk to people. The same with you. I don't know what is your strength or weaknesses. If may ka sa drawing, na you uban, na they're investing their time and effort, mag-drawing, mag-paint. And that is your strength. And that is your scope. That's how your metacognition works. That's how you learn. That's how you become a better learner. If you know your if you know yourself, if you know how your metacognition works. While self-management or of cognition, while self-management is your mental process you employ, is your mental processes, how you plan and adapt to a certain thing. So kung may mental self-management is how you become adaptable, how you become uh, unsa ka the way mo plano sa imong kinabuhi. That's how you manage yourself. That's self-management of cognition. So base, base unsa ka the way mo guna-huna, unsa po ni mo hang plano. Kinaguna-huna man ka, therefore, na kay plano. Kinaman kay plano, so man na ay mo hang buhaton. Because you have plan, because you are thinking. So kung ako ay mo guna-huna, no? So kung naguna-huna ko, I have to do something because I am thinking. Kung wala ako naguna-huna, ano, mabuhat man ko, wala ako naguna-huna. So that's how our metacognition works. It affects our behavior. Okay, so, ingon sila, para daw ang atong self-appraisal, for our self-appraisal and self-management works, para daw mulihok ni siya, is we need to have an accurate self-assessment. So what do you mean by accurate self-assessment? You need to be honest to yourself. You need to be true to yourself. You need to know what is good or bad for you, what is your strength or weaknesses, and try to maximize your strength, maximize, and become a better learner. So weaknesses, Nemo, you can still learn something from your weaknesses. Now, we can still learn something sa ato ang mga butang na di tamaayo, right? So, lahi man ang tao, lahi man tag So, for this two to work, we need to be honest to ourselves. We need to ask help if naglisod ta. And para ma-manage na to atong self so that we can become a better learner. So we can make ourselves the best version of ourselves. Okay, so metacognition has two elements. So di ba kung ingon kag metacognition is the way ka maghuna-huna, no? Or unsa the way mo process ang imong huna-huna? sa mga buta nga ay mong gihuna-huna. Okay, so, giunsa daw pag-process. So, how do we process? So, there are two elements of metacognition. Na ako nutay kita ha, as humans, we have the metacognitive cognition knowledge. So, when you talk about metacognition knowledge, so, what is metacognition knowledge? So, kung may nguntag metacognition knowledge, it is it is what you know about how you think. Sa Bisaya pa, nakahibaw ka kung unsa ang imong hanggihon ako na. That is your metacognition knowledge. You know what you are thinking. You know what is it in your head. Kung unsa imong hanggihon na ako na karong adlawa. Okay, so what you know about how you think. Well, metacognition regulation is how you adjust your thinking processes. So, Atong try to differentiate ha. Your metacognition knowledge is what you know about how you think. Unsa imong nasabtan sa the way ka maguna-huna. So ang metacognition regulation is unsa, unsa o nimo pag-adjust, how you adjust your thinking process. So tagahan tamong example ha. For example, mm, pakaroon ng pandemic. Di man tapo hindi ka gawas, right? You have your metacognition knowledge. Ngayon nagunahuna mga sa pandemic because we are all affected by it. So nagunahuna ka, you have your metacognition knowledge about how you think because you are affected by the pandemic. And then ang imong metacognition regulation, ang imong unahuna, ang imong nasa di mga huy, 
kay naa naman ka ana nga pagsapot kay baw naman ka nga dapat maging anita magchange na ta it's the new normal kay balo naman ka dapat adjusted ka right to need to adjust that is your metacognition regulation it is making some adjustment based on your thinking processes dili lang kay kasabot na ka kung unsay nahitabo pero wa gihapon ka ning adjust kakasabot na ka nga wala na siya pero wa gihapon ka ning adjust so dapat kuno na ata ana we have the metacognition knowledge and your metacognition regulation so i hope it is clear that we need to make some adjustment okay there is no permanent thing in this world we all change people change our environment is also changing so we need to to know how to make adjustment let's use our metacognition regulation okay so under sa kono under metacognition knowledge we have several variables that may affect us on how we think so there are a lot of variables under the metacognition knowledge that may affect our level of understanding about ourselves that we are affected by it so first is our personal variable so when you talk about personal variable it is your evaluation about yourself knowing your strengths and weaknesses that is your choice your personal variable imuha na sya pagsabot makaingon ka nga hina jud ko ani why is it makaingon ka nga hina ka ani it's because that is your own evaluation about yourself that is how you see yourself that's why imuha ka i don't know about these things right so ako mo accept jud ko nga hina jud ko mga kanang tawag na geometry ani ba hina jud ko nang geometry intaw makapanguros kog di oras anang geometry uh, drawing kanang mga measurement makaingon na lang ko hay may pag may radyo mo ako nag engineering di ba kay I, i can't survive <laughs> so i am really happy that psychology akong gikuha because it is I am motivated to do something more because it is aligned to to how I understand myself now, right? So I love to talk. Therefore, psychology also was to be me. So it's one of my strength. It's one of my strength. So no pressure. Kung history yala, no pressure. Okay, but kung math, uh, the pressure is on. So I know my strength and I know my weaknesses. Okay, that is our personal variable. That's how we think. We are affected by how we think. And the second is the task variable. So it is what you know or what you think about the nature of the task. So the task variable is, kung nakahibaw na ka sa imong gibuhat, mo dyan na imong buhat ko. Kung nakahibaw na ka sa unsay gipatrabaho sa imo, nakasabot na po ka unsay imong angay ang buhat ko. So that's the correct one. Kay nakasabot man ka, for example, ako may ngayon sila, Hoy, Jubrin, Tudlo, Dibto, you have to teach this subject. So, kagitagaan naman kong task, because I have my own task, makaingon ko, ah, okay, Tudlo ko. So, pag Tudlo na, pag ingon nila nga, I have to teach this subject, ang akong metacognition is, nag-process na siya, it's processing already. So, since nakahibaw naman ko naman na akong subject, so I need to, to make some adjustments. I need to do, all those strengths na nako but we still need to make some adjustment especially kung modyal ka sa imong students you need to have a strong metacognition regulation kay ikaw mi magdala sa klase especially if you are teaching right kung ikaw gadala sa klase you have to make some adjustment dili kay maglailahi mag usahay depende sa sa sa, sa class nga imong i-handle because lailahi man ang style you have different styles of teaching our students Okay, that's our task variable. Strength na nako ang pangisturya, but I still make some adjustments yeah, to become a better teacher or to, to become a better speaker someday. So that's how we are affected by our task variable. And the third one is, the third one is the strategy variable. So when you talk about strategy variable, is this. Kung kahibaw na ka, kung unsa imong strength, di ba? You know how to strategize. You know kung sa mo because your strat strategy sa kanang abutang, it is you have it already. Imuha man ang strategy, especially if it if it is if you are working sa unsay butang maayo ka, you have a lot of strategies on how you can do it better. Di ba nag may kay ka anang butanga sa yun na kaayo itrabaho. 
Pero kung naglisod ka, you're still coping up. That's why we need to to accept the fact or to kinahang lang tamo dawat no, nga naging usahay nga di na to kaya ng usakabutan. So we need the help of other people to be a better learner. Okay, so take note, there are a lot of strategies on how we can be a better learner. So, naalang ko i-mention nga usang, for me, it is very important for us to acknowledge or to embrace the idea of this concept, the welcoming errors. Okay, so welcome. So, let's all welcome nga sometimes until we commit mistakes. Wako nag-ingun ha, it doesn't mean that welcoming errors is I need to do it over and over again. I need to commit mistakes or I need to to find mistakes para lang ma-feel na ako nga nga I need to develop something. So when you talk about welcoming errors is when I commit mistakes, kung masayop ko, I do not dismiss it as insignificant. Hindi ko maingon nga ang akong sayop walay gamit. So, kung masayop ko, I will accept it, I will analyze it, and I will absorb, and I am ready to accept the result of my action. That is welcoming errors. Meaning, makahibaw ka nga, usahay ang tao, masayop man dyan, no? So, nadyo tayo mga mistakes, nga mabuhat sa ato, ah. So, we need to welcome mistakes para ta, para di ha po ta, makarealize nga, o di na ko mabuhat ato because I was there. Nasayop na ko sa una, so I will not do it again. So that's the idea of welcoming errors. And that's how we develop ourselves. And that's how we become a better learner because we know how to accept our own mistakes. We don't do the pointing finger or the blaming of others. As long as kay Balukang it is your mistake, you are willing to consider it as part of your learning process. Okay, so... Take note, by having a more positive attitude towards mistake, you will also have the courage to venture new learning experience. Di ba kung masayop ka sa usakabutang, may ngon mga ka, pinakumubuhat at uy, kinasayop na ko sa una. So ako na pong itry ang lain na strategy or lain na pa maagi posible nga nindot na ni ang output or nindot na ni ang resulta because I know myself already. Nakaibaw na ko kung siya akong gusto. Nakaibaw na ko sa kung sayop sa una, I will not do it again. For me to become a better learner. Okay, so, take note nga, ang tao, kita, lahi-lahi mong tanong. And then we also have different types of mga learners. Natay, four types of learners. Mga upat kabuok. Nga makaingon ka nga, posible nga na ko. That's how I process my metacognition. That's how I. That's how I think about things. So, manang usahay no maglibog ka no. Nanong magunahon na ako sa butang ha na dilim ay. Manang magunahon na ako sa butang nga makasakit sa kuwa. So it is your own choice. It is. It really depends kung sa ano mo pagregulate sa mo metacognition and how you can cope up with sa katulong mga pain or mga trials or mga struggles that we have encountered throughout life. Okay, so, actually, we have four types of learners. The first one is the tacit learners. So, kinsa man sila. So, they are unaware. So, when you talk about tacit learners, they are unaware of their metacognitive processes, although they know the extent of their knowledge. So, atong misaya on ha, kanina ng mga tao, kasabot sila na kaya na nila ka na nga butang. Pero wala nila gimaximize ang ilahang kakayanan. Right? Lingo sila, ay, chamba naman to. <laughs> right? Lingo sila. For example, ako, makaingon ko, bright kay ka, Ana, ay ka, maujud ka. Ganong, ganong makaingon man ko nga, bright siya, Ana, because nakita man ako. Right? Manang ingon sila, usahay kita, mutuo po sa atong palibot, no? Because they are our mirrors. Sila ang ato ang samin sa unsa kunta sa ilahang pananaw. So, partly, tinood na lang istorya. Okay, manang, usahay kasabot ka, nga bright ka, Ana, but you are not maximizing your potential. So, manang itawag nga the tacit learner. They are unaware of their metacognitive processes. Pa sila kasabot ko unsa mo process ilang huna-huna. 
Pero bright sila. Okay? Kamaojo sila. They just don't understand how their metacognitive works. Okay, the second is the aware learners. So, ang aware, from the word itself, aware sila sa ilang metacognitive processes, ilang strategy, but ang ila pong technique is lahi. Walay plano. <laughs> Mubuhat sila, walay plano. Hay, pero kasabot sila nga kaya na nila. Right? Mukaraingon sila nga kaya, manjo ni nako, bye, pero unya na lang ni nato buhaton. Right? So, mana sa aware, aware sila how do they process information, how they acquire their metacognitive strategy, but usay mo buhat sila without any plans. Okay, the third is the strategic learners. So, when you talk about strategic learners, mo ni sila ang mga tao nga grabi ang plano, grabi po ang pag-strategize. Before sila mo buhat sa usakabutang, dapat na ay plano o na ay strategy. Right? Di sila ganahan o may plano ngay. Ang katungo sa si aware learners, kay baw sila nga kaya nila, pero mabuhat sila, bisan may plano. Okay, kasabot man sila nga kamao sila anak. Right? And the third is the strategize, strategic learner, before sila mabuhat anang usakabutang, dapat na ay plano o na ay strategy. May dapat ilang buhaton. Okay? So, the fourth one is the reflective learners. So, try to assess yourself as a kaani. The reflective learners. So, reflective is the try to reflect. Ilas ang sabtun, unsa sila the way magunahuna before nila gamito ng ilahang mga strategy. So, ilas ang tanahon kung sakto ba, mag, they will do self-reflection on how they think about things before nila lihupon. So, magunahuna sa ko kung unsa'y maayong buhaton, Ang ako pong strategy, nakadepende na siya kung sa nga sitwasyon. They are considered as reflective learners. Dili sila mo atake diritsyo, masukot diritsyo, or mabuhat diritsyo, ila sang sabtuan before they will do some action. So hopefully na ako ani, no? Try to, try to ask yourself if this is you, if you are part of the reflective learners. Okay. So take note that the goal, that the goal of metacognition is for the student to be a self-regulated learner. So what do you mean by self-regulated learner? Kinang ikaw munihok ba? Right? You know yourself. Since you know yourself, it's easy for you to do something for yourself. And you know, if you know yourself, kay baluka ko sa butang that will help you improve yourself. You know how to make adjustments. You know how to welcome errors. Punak sayup na kasauna, don't do it again because sayup naman to. That's how dapat daw na ataan ang metacognition. Okay? So one should have the capability to study things on his or her own ways. So dapat daw kita daw, we should learn how to study things sa ato abe, sa ato ang kaugalingon. And kay nakasabot naman ka kung unsay mga butang na dapat ni mo improve sa mong kaugalingan, you also have the sole responsibility to check or to evaluate asa nakapadong. So that's the idea of metacognition. You need to think about things. You need to think about how you act in a certain things para makasabot ka kung saan na pwedagan sa imuhang kinabuhi in order for us to become a better learner. And that's the goal of metacognition. I really hope that you are learning from all my discussions. This is our lesson number 11. So thank you so much for watching all my videos. Actually, to all my viewers, um, I am also offering an online tutoring for psychology uh, subjects. So if you find it hard to understand psychology subjects, just send me a message or comment below. Comment below so that I can immediately give you a response on how I can help you regarding your understanding about psychology. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.